टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ट्रांसिस्टर इन कॉमन बेस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन हियर दिस इज योर ट्रांसिस्टर इन दिस ट्रांसिस्टर यू आर एबल टू फाइंड ए नॉच ऑन दिस ट्रांसिस्टर एंड द नॉब नियर टू नॉच द नॉब नियर टू नॉच इज एमिटर एंड द नॉब फार अवे फ्रॉम द नॉच इज कलेक्टर एंड मिडिल वन इज बेस ओके एमिटर बेस एंड कलेक्टर ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू प्लेस दिस ऑन द ब्रेड बोर्ड ऑलरेडी इट इज प्लेस वन सी द सर्क्यू डायग्राम बिफोर दैट नाउ दिस इज द सर्क्यू डायग्राम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव ऑल दिस कनेक्शन ऑन द ब्रेड बोर्ड ऑलरेडी आई गिवेन द कनेक्शन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ आई ऑलरेडी अरेंज द दिस कनेक्शन ऑन द ब्रेड बोर्ड नाउ सियर हाउ आई एम अरेंज सियर नाउ दिस इज द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ माई CB configuration. Now see here how I arrange it. See here. If you observe here, this is my base. I already said that the middle one is base. If you observe here, common base configuration. The base must be connected to ground. See here. This is connected to ground from the circuit. If you observe the circuit, in the circuit. Now see. Here. In this circuit, base is connected to ground. So here also base is connected to ground. Okay. Thereafter, if you observe here, the Voltmeter is connected across this emitter as well as ground. Now see here, this is my voltmeter. Now voltmeter pass through is connected to emitter. This is my emitter terminal, emitter, and the negative is connected to ground. If you observe here, this is my negative. Negative is connected to ground here. Negative is connected to ground. Okay. Thereafter, take the emitter. Emitter negative is connected to emitter. Now see here, this is my emitter negative. See here. Emitter negative is connected to emitter terminal. This is emitter terminal connected to emitter. Next, see the emitter pass through. Emitter pass through is connected to resistance second end. Now see here, this is my emitter positive. See here, here this is my emitter pass through. Now this is connected to resistance. This is my resistance connected. Okay, resistance second end anywhere on the breadboard. Here it is connected. Okay, now see here. from resistor this end to RPS negative. Now see here, this is my RPS. Negative, negative terminal. Now this is connected to resistance position. Okay. Thereafter, this is input side connection. Total input side connection is completed. Next, see the output side connection. Now output side, I am connecting a voltmeter, one terminal to the collector, one terminal to the ground. Now see here, this is my second side voltmeter. Okay. Now while giving the connections, while giving the connections, try to give inputs on the left side, right side. Output. Then it is easy to identify which one is input, which one is output. Now this is my output side connection. Now see here. Now see here. Voltmeter across this collector. Now see. Here. This is pass through is connected to collector. The right side is your collector terminal. Right side one is collector terminal. Okay. Thereafter negative is connected to ground. If you observe here, this is my negative terminal. Negative is connected to ground. Okay. Now thereafter, if you take the res resistance is connected to the collector side. Now see. Here. Resistance is connected to the collector terminal. If you observe here, resistance is connected to the collector terminal. Second end anywhere on the breadboard. Second end anywhere on the breadboard. Now from the second end, from the second end, this is my second end. From the second end, we need to connect the RPS positive. Now see here, this is my second end of the resistance connected to RPS here. Connected to RPS. Okay. There after, if you observe the negative, negative is connected to ground. Now see here, this is my negative of your RPS. Negative of my RPS. Negative of RPS is connected to. Sorry, this is this terminal. This terminal is my negative of RPS. This is connected to ground here. Connected to. Okay. Now this is the total connection of your CB configuration input. Input connection. CB configuration input. Now how to perform the experiment? While connecting the, while giving, while taking the readings, we need to place. The output is constant, and we need to vary the input to supply voltage, and you need to note down the input voltage versus input current. Okay, now for that, I am going to switch on the supply. <coughs> now output voltage must be constant. Now this one must be constant. I am going to take some five volts, zero volts, ten volts. That is up to you. For, for demo purpose, I am giving this one as zero volts. Initially zero volts. Now apply this. Voltage, supply voltage. Okay. Now I am going to apply the supply voltage. See here, step by step, I am applying the supply voltage. Now how it is varying? By varying this, we need to observe the current to the transistor. 
ओके इनपुट सैड ओके ना वेरिंग दिस वोलटेज सीयर वेन यू अप्लाई द वोलटेज टू दि पॉइंट वन दि करेंट इज जीरो नाउ सीयर अगेन अप टू पॉइंट टू वेन यू अप्लाई टू दि पॉइंट टू दि करेंट इज जीरो ओके ना ना नेक्स्ट अप्लाई टू दि पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री आलो जीरो अप्लाई टू पॉइंट फोर आलो जीरो अप्लाई टू पॉइंट फाइव नौ वेन यू इंक्रीज दि वोलटेज टू पॉइंट टू फाइव दि करेंट स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग दिस इज कॉल कट इन वोलटेज आफ्टर कट इन वोलटेज ओनली दि मूवेंट आफ चार्ज कैरेट इज प्रेजेंट एंड दि करेंट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज ओके सारी नेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई दि वोलटेज टू पॉइंट सिक्स नौ सीयर वेन आई इंक्रीज टू पॉइंट सिक्स दि करेंट इंक्रीज टू पॉइंट थ्री नाइन सिमिलरली इंक्रीज अप टू पॉइंट सेवन सीयर पॉइंट सेवन इट इज सिक्स सेवन लाइक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट पॉइंट सेवन वी आर गेटिंग इट इज थर्टीन वोल्ट देर इज ए सडन इंक्रीज इन दि करंट आफ्टर रीचिंग दि कट इन वोलटेज देर इज ए सडन इंक्रीज इन दि करंट दट इज वॉट वी नीड टू अब्सर्व दिस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर सिमिलर टू युअर पी एंड जंक्शन डेट फॉरवर्ड बैस characteristics okay this is about cb configuration input <coughs> sorry okay now i am going to explain this cb output okay now see here cb output connections now this circuit shows the cb connection output here this is a diagram for common base configuration output now here it is already given the connections all the connections are given now see here In this case also, base is connected to ground. See here. Here, this is my base. Base is connected to ground. In this circuit also, it is like that only. See. Base is connected to ground. Thereafter, emitter is connected to emitter negative. See here. This is my emitter. Emitter is connected to emitter negative. This is my emitter. Okay. There after, ammeter pass through to resistance here. Ammeter pass it to to the resistance. Okay. Resistance second end anywhere on the breadboard. Okay. There after, resistance second end to the RPS negative here. Resistance second end to the RPS negativity is connected. There after, see here. Input side connection is completed. So that's why I connected inputs on the left side of the RPS and outputs are right side on the RPS. Okay. Now see here. Now see the output connection. Now if you observe here, now collector side. If you observe the circuit, ammeter positive is connected to collector. Now this is my collector. Now this is my ammeter positive terminal. See here, this is my ammeter positive. If you observe here, ammeter positive. Sorry, this one. Okay, ammeter positive is connected to collector side. Okay, and before that, we can connect the voltmeter to the collector as well as the ground. See here, voltmeter connection. See here, voltmeter here, and one more terminal is connected to ground. Okay. Thereafter, resistance second end is connected to the positive. Now, so this is my resistance second end. This is connected to positive. See here, this is my resistance second end. Resistance second end is connected to RPS positive. This one connected to positive. Thereafter, resistant uh, the RPS negative is connected to ground. Now see here, this is my negative of my RPS. This is connected to ground. Ground it is connected. Okay, this is the CB configuration output. Okay. Now in this case, <coughs> in the case of CB output, we need to make the input current as constant. I need to vary this. Voltage. We need to measure the current. Okay. For that, I am switching on the supply. See here. Now, make the ammeter value as constant. Okay. Input current as constant. Now, applying the current. You can apply any current. Either two, four, six, like that. Okay. For a demo purpose, I am applying the volt current as two. Okay. Now. Okay, two amps is applied. Now, by varying this output side RPS value, we need to measure the current as well as voltage for different values. Okay, for demo purpose, I am applying different values. Okay, point three, it is two point one. Point eight, two point one. Ten, two point one. See here, everywhere we are getting the current, the current value as constant. So, in the case of CB configuration output graph. 
the output current must be constant okay thank you